Hello and welcome to the research process. In this video, you'll learn how to evaluate websites. I asked my professor if I could use websites for my project, and she said I could if I also used articles and books. Why do so many professors hate websites? They just want to make sure you get the best possible information, and sometimes that's difficult to figure out on websites. Maybe the professors that don't want us to use the internet are just behind the times, you know, outdated. It's true that some people aren't aware of the incredible resource of information that's freely available online. However, in most cases, professors are more concerned that students cite commercial websites or highly biased websites without properly evaluating what they find first. So it's just like any other source of information. You have to critically evaluate the source and the content. Exactly. Any ideas how you might go about evaluating a website? Well, if the site ends in .gov, .org, or .edu, it's usually credible. You can certainly look at the domain name for clues about the type of organization. However, anyone can get a .org address. You should always be skeptical of any website regardless of the domain name credibility. So how should I evaluate a website? Ask yourself the following questions. Who is the author of the page and what authority do they have to speak on the subject? What is their agenda and why did they create the page? Is there contact information for the author? What is the intent of the website? Again, is their agenda clear? Are they trying to get you to buy something, a product or an idea? Is there evidence to support the author's arguments? And is the site mostly opinion? This makes sense because anyone can create a website. They may not be an expert and they could be really biased. And it's true that most sites on the internet are trying to make money. I guess we can't expect them to be objective when their number one goal is to get money. Okay, so how should you evaluate a website? To evaluate a website, I should figure out who's the author and if they have authority on the subject, and also try to determine the intent of the website. That sounds pretty simple. Excellent. Now you're ready to start searching the web.